I'm joined in studio by a very able panel and today we are discussing a very emotive uh, topic. Before I get into what we are going to discuss today, I'm joined by Salim Bajabe, who's also the Deputy Organizing Secretary of the Wiper Democratic Movement Party. I'm also joined by a first-timer member of parliament for Saboti constituency, Caleb Amisi. Congratulations and welcome. Thanks. 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 And last but not least, I'm joined by Shedwaha Omar, who's a neck member of WIPA party and also the Secretary for Religious Affairs. Sheke, Karibu Napoli. Now, I will be telling you why I've told Shedwaha Poli. To get into the gist of it, on the 28th, on Monday, the 28th of August 2017, the petitioner for the presidential election petition, His Excellency Engineer Dr. Raila Amol Odinga, made his way to the Supreme Court. And outside the Supreme Court, a most unfortunate incident took place, police harassment to be precise. Before we get the discussion, let's take a look at this clip and have a recap of the same. Take a look. Yes, we have security here. Help yourself. Green panel. This is a high court. This is a police station. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, no, stop being unreasonable. We, 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 Prime Minister, yeah. Prime Minister, yeah. Yeah. We came here in the morning and, and he allowed us to come in. Why are you why are you here pretending to be greater than others? Please, funny. Can you open for our boys to come in? Allow allow this. This from Korea Musala. From Korea Musala. Security yeah. It is not your case. We have allowed you. We respect you. I respect you. I'm the one who decides who comes with me. Yes. 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 I respect you. The respect you are showing. Respect is not about pronouncement. It's about behavior. Please. Very well, that is the unfortunate incident that unfolded outside the Supreme Court. Raila Odinga, Moses Wetangula, Mosalia Budavadi, and other leaders basically mishandled. I mean, Shetwa, Yuzi Jumapili ulikuwa kotini. Yapi ya lijiri kotini. Tunawana kama kwa polisi, kuna wanasema instructions from above. Hatuwelewi yu above ni nani. Lakini wewe kwanza nime kuambia pole maana, pengine ilezea wale wanao tutizama. Ni yapi ya lojiri Jumapili. Kiukweni Jumapili tulifuata amri ya kiongozi wetu wa NASA. Yeah. Nake aliambia wa Kenya kwamba tutafika pale Supreme kwa ajili ya maombi. Kwenda kuombea mawakili wetu ambao kwamba wanawasilisha ile kesi pale Supreme Court. No. No. Vile vile kuombea Kenya kwa jumla. No. Sasa tukatikia mwito wa 
wa president wetu Raila Amolo Odinga tukafika Supreme Court pamoja na wabunge kadhaa tukafika pale tukatekeleza ile amri ya kufanya maombi ya kufanya maombi lile ndo lilikuwa lengo tukaombewa na Mkristo na mimi pia nikaendelea nikaomba but tukiwa hapo kulikuwa hakuna shida yoyote mpaka tulipomaliza kuomba wakati tunataka kuondoka sasa tumemaliza kuomba akakuja huyu askari huyu huyu askari ambaye askari ambaye alitia shida uh, rais wetu Raila Amolo Odinga na kina Moses Watangula na Musalia Mudavadi ndio alikuja hao watu wanafanya nini hapa tokeni fukuzeni hao watu akaanza hiyo rafsha ndio tukaanza kufukuzwa na farasi kaona nikawa najaribu kudandia gari watu wanakimbia na hii ni Kenya Kenya kuna uhuru hata kama baba hangesema sisi wenyewe tungesema tunataka kwenda kuomba kwa koti tuko na uhuru katiba inatoruhusu mahali popote tukusanyane na tuongee yale tunayotaka bora ni mambo kwa njia yote ya amani amani eh, ndio maana tukafuata huo mwito tukafika pale kwa ajili ya kuombea kesi yetu na pia kuombea kuombea Kenya lakini eh, pole sana lakini tunaona askari wanatumiwa vibaya kama amri inatoka above the law hakuna mtu sahihi above the law ile tunajua kila kitu kuna tuna katiba na katiba inaruhusu mwananchi kukongamana mahali kokote na kufanya yale wanayotaka bora ni ya amani na ni ya kulingana na sheria na sheria yetu mheshimiwa kale bamisi you had an incident as well uh, outside the, the supreme court mheshimiwa simba had an incident outside the, the supreme court I mean this is uncalled for it's unwarranted have we become a police state why this harassment yeah thank you um, i was there as well with my brother um, i want to say uh, this country has, has gone low uh, because uh, when you reach to an extent where by the person who actually fought for change in this country is being harassed it's not being treated like and, a uh, the very people is being treated badly by the very people whom we fought for he has fought for reforms even in police reforms oh yes oh yes he has fought even for the supreme court itself yes whatever freedom we are enjoying now uh, is because of this person and is the same person you are harassing i think it is a curse to this nation uh, it is a curse and it is a very unfortunate we are heading the wrong direction at at the time when the the nation is mourning over a, a stolen uh, victory it is the same time you are in the petition uh, and uh, you know personally i was there with simba rati we we were chased I'm a new person police do not know me they like the, they, they beat the, me in the assumption you don't look like a mushima i don't look like a mushima my body itself is uh, is uh, it shows that i'm just a normal <laughs> young person so for yeah So yeah. when even uh, despite me crying to them that hey I'm a member of parliament I elect for support yeah a people's representative yes they 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 wished me away and I was beaten by but, but even so even if you are yeah. not a member of parliament I want to believe there's a right of assembly and uh, and uh, and uh, even even though we ask them fine you don't want us to play here where do you want us to play they didn't listen to us they're not even given as an option because you are not forcing ourselves to go in you are simply asking can you give us a space a prayer in any nation that do not pray is like you don't want you are even chasing away you don't want anything to do with, even with god the almighty the supreme <laughs> more the supreme than the supreme court is a nation that is chasing away even prayer so you can imagine you are saying you are greater than the almighty father <laughs> wow um baja yes mushimo wetangula was even asking for his phone make up come wamesukumwa simu yake imebaki huko jamani kwa hakika my brother kama alivyosema hapa ni kitendo cha aibu madharau kukosa heshima ni kitendo cha shetani kwa sababu kwanza maombi ni mambo ya Mungu na watu wakija kuomba mahali popote ni baraka na amani. Na. Lakini ukianza kufukuza waombaji ambao wameweka Mungu mbele ili Supreme Court iweze kuleta amani katika Kenya. 
basi umeanza kuchokora mlango wa tabu wamepigwa na tumeona viongozi wetu wamekuwa harassed na ya aibu kubwa ni kwa uh, rais wetu Amolo Raila Amolo Odinga ambaye ni statesman ni first citizen of this country ni mtu ambaye ametutetea freedom of everything ni yeye alafu unakuja unasema above inasema usiingie is a petitioner also yeye hii kesi kama si yeye haingekuwa no. kwa hivyo yeye ana haki ya kuweza kuingiza yoyote yule anayetaka kwa salute kwa heshima yeye hawezi kuleta fujo pale na alikuwa na grupu yake ilikuwa waingie kwa heshima sio kuonesha Raila si kitu chochote katika nchi hata kama angekuwa si rais heshima yake ilikuwa ibaki kama mwananchi kama mwananchi mwananchi ambaye ametetea uhuru wa Kenya e multi party ameleta supreme court ameitetea kuweka majaji mapolisi amefanya reform zao ili waweze kuwa na heshima lakini hawa mkono ambao umekulisha unaukata huwezi kukata mkono ambao umekulisha utakulisha namna gani kwa hivyo sisi tunalani kitendo hicho tumesema ni aibu na ulimwengu mzima umeona heshima lazima apawe nchi haiwezi kuja kwa amani kama hakuna heshima mkifanyia raila na nashukuru watu wa nasa supporters wa nasa nashukuru sana walikuwa na imani na wakaweza kunyamaza kuona kiongozi wao amekuwa haras i salute them ni watu wa amani na wanapenda Kenya watu wa nasa ingekuwa mali pengine my brother ingekuwa fujo kubwa sana um, nikirejelea niki, niki kwako mheshimiwa huyu askari mmoja wa security detail wewe sasa ni mbunge utapawa official security detail wa VIP protection mmoja wa askari wa mheshimiwa Moses Masika wetangula ambaye anajulikana kama Simon Lonyai kutoka sehemu za Turkana inasemekana ameachiwa kazi na isitoshe amefikishwa mahakamani kwa madai ya kutaka kuingia na bunduki kwenye Supreme Court kwa madai ya kukiuka uh, amri ya superiors wake mimi nikimwangalia yule askari ambaye alikuwa anamzuia uh, mheshimiwa Raila kuingia kwa timu na huyo askari ambaye alikuwa anamlinda uh, Moses Wetangula ni nani ambaye afanye kazi yake mimi namuona kama huyo askari aliyemzuia ndio pengine angeachishwa kazi Yeah, um, um, that's very samani nitambie kwa lugha ya kimomo. Naam, na shida, hamna shida. Um, and that's why I I say the, the very people uh, uh, on the right on the Borela Omolo thing has been fighting for is the uh, same people who are turning against it. First, um ule askari ukiangalia hiyo clip. Naam. That that askari did not cause any trouble. Yep, you right. What happened they pushed him away. Yes. He just wanted to enter and they give form yes. to his uh, boss who yes. is Moses Wetangu. Yes. But they pushed him away. Literally, I I watched that uh, video came. Yes. They pushed him away. And so he's a fellow he's, police he's, officer. Uh, his only crime if he's presented to court, his only crime is being pushed away by a fellow guy. Which crime is that in, uh, in our constitution? Well, I don't Now, know. Uh, number two, uh, this is a fellow police officer. It you are you are under the same borders you are receiving the orders from the same uh, source yes the same power he is armed like you and uh, is uh, doing his job like you is earning the same salary <laughs> like you all he is doing is doing the his same job yeah yeah just the way you are also doing your job yeah so it's a matter of discussing with him. in fact you are not supposed to be arguing with him in, in front of his boss ask him hey gentlemen come here I want this order to be followed in yes. this case. Do you know how we work the, uh, in this uh, kind of environment? <coughs> Now go tell your boss. It is in fact it's supposed to communicate through that that askari. Not even him having the audacity. I was I, I was looking at the way that askari was arguing with right on about uh, Raila. Yeah, so just like he is actually pointing him as if he's a young boy. He believes that's pointing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's actually pointing him. So it is a disgrace it is a shame uh, on that day you know, well, to this country. Bajabe. Yes. Uh nyakati za nyuma kulikuwa na hili orders from above. Ilikuwa nyingi. Nyakati za golden bag pesa zilipotea au oh, ilikuwa orders from above.
tumeanza kusikia polisi wakiwa na hii orders from above ukienda mitaani kuna polisi wengi wana patrol hatuelewi kisa na maana ni nini wafikiri kuna ujumbe pengine unatumwa kwa sababu najaribu na kujiuliza wewe ukiwa askari kama yule aliyekuwa pale jana wewe ni nani kumzomea Raila Odinga au umetumwa na nani au oda zako zimetoka kwa nani na kwa madhumuni gani kwanza wacha niseme kwa sababu ilikuwa ulimwengu mzima unaona vile askari ana behave na national leaders national leaders akiwa ni upinzani awe jubilee awe independent ni haki ya kuweza kumheshimu ndio tunaita waheshimiwa ile oda ambayo nimeona ni kweli yule askari alikuwa na mobile ameshikwa kwa mkono wake sio amri yake ni amekuwa amekuwa akiwa instructed what to do kwa hivyo yeye kama askari ambaye ame